if you uh, cycle forward a year, and now we're talking in 20, uh, 20, 2021, looking back, what, what, what things do you think will, will uh, be the, this, what will be in place again um, from this? What are going to be some of the learning that you think uh, from the senior management? They're like, you know, we're going to keep this in place because this is a good thing to do. Yeah, well, I mean, I think we're finally, we're, we're just finally leveraging a lot of the technologies we've already been invested in that people have been slow to adopt or, or slow to recognize the value of. Yeah. So a year from now, I'd expect, um, I mean, I think we already see barriers coming down. Uh, there's, you know, barriers to uh, working remotely, adding efficiencies to getting things done without having to be in the office, quality of life improvements from being able to work at home if you don't have a physical necessity to be in the office. I think we're just, I mean, there's no putting these barriers back up. I, I think, you know, I, of course I have a fear of, you know, the old guard kind of uh, section of management wanting to go back to some older styles of, of work. But I think that I don't, I just don't see, think that's a strong possibility. I do think that these barriers are down for good and that a year from now we will see increased efficiency when it comes to production uh, with people being able to get things done from home and being comfortable with it. Also people being able to be comfortable with this kind of interface. Um, we didn't have a lot of video interaction prior to this experience. I would say maybe 15 to 20% of the com company used video one-on-ones with any regularity and now it's practically 100%.